Hi Leo Moons, thank you so much for being here. I am Divine Femme Care at 144. Very happy, grateful, and blessed to bring you this reading. This reading is designed for those who have their moon sign in the zodiac sign of Leo. Unlimited to anyone who should find this message or should this message find you. For this reading, I will be doing a three card spread, Love, Money, and You by special channeled request using the Modern Witch Tarot deck. I am going to clarify those three cards using the Egyptian Tarot deck. And at the end of your read, I will do an overall card using the Moonology Oracle cards. I've already pre-shuffled all three decks. I'm going to shuffle the first deck just a few more times and split the deck and we will begin. So you wonderful... <laughs> beautiful creatures are being featured in the spotlight series for this round of readings for all 13 zodiac signs so i just want to say thank you for the lovely energy that you provide to the universe for you deciding to come into this lifetime and assist in the way that you have volunteered to do so with the background, the lemons, I was doing some research to get some good symbols for you to help the other zodiac signs as we go through these readings. And one of the things I came across was cell salt information. And for those of you who don't know what a cell salt is, it's similar to homeopathic medicine, but it's designed to work on both the energetic and nutrient level. There are 11 elements that are combined in various pairs and used to help balance different pathological states. So these 11 elements that are combined form 12 cell salts. Two of these elements, magnesium and phosphorus, combine to make magnesium phosphate, which is Leo cell salt. And magnesium phosphate helps to keep the motor nerves in top functioning order. It's also necessary to the formation of the skeletal structure. There are a list of foods containing magnesium phosphate, and one of these foods is lemons, which I thought was perfect for the summer season that a lot of us are in, where we're already incorporating lemons into our diets. It's also a seasonal food here too as well. So the way that lemons incorporate and bring themselves back into our existence, I think is pretty neat, but Special attention to the lemons, and this may be helpful for some of you, if not all of you. And then also the other 12 zodiac signs. And I will leave all this information in the description box for you, along with the traditional information that I leave for the Spotlight series. And again, thank you for being you. I appreciate you. We all appreciate you. So for love... We have the lovers. How pretty. This is a strong soulmate connection. This is something that is coming together into the physical. I do feel it's a very galactic connection. Sixes are for unconditional love, but then also Virgo energy. So a very healing soulmate connection. I do feel that you have both overcome a lot to get to where you are right now. And that with the healing energy coming together within yourself, healing yourself, learning how to really love yourself and take care of yourself, you're finding beautiful connections on the outside of you. I do feel this is definitely speaking to the energy from within here. The angels adoring this and it being true to their heart here. Destiny coming together. And I think this is even more special with it coming into the love section for you here. The apples are coming through pretty significantly. Those are good for a partnership. I am getting a sense of sharing, strong sense of sharing and cutting the apple and sharing pieces together. Apple pie is coming. We are in that season. There may be some pie contests coming through. I know we do have state fairs for a lot of states in the U.S. coming around here. And that's, I'm getting more of that on the feminine side. 
As far as the masculine, what I am seeing are these flames here. Where I do feel the masculine just as of late has gone through possibly a little bit more than the feminine energy. Being a darker energy here too, maybe going through a dark night of the soul or completing a specific part of their cycle. Now this could be you or the feminine, take what resonates. But overall, I do have you being in balance with yourself here. This being a card of Gemini here too as well. So magician energy, magic being used, the magic from within you, utilizing the elements, the tools, making things work, knowing and listening to yourself and aligning as such and watching things come together for you. Again, I do feel this is a destined partnership that's coming together. For a lot of you, what I am getting to, we did just have Independence Day here in the U.S. So I am seeing there being some kind of connection, whether this be physical or spiritual in the night sky here between two who are connecting, having yet to come together, seeing the hands there. Pretty exciting feeling. This is a great soulmate card, a wonderful energy for love and also about making a choice. For money, we have the full card. You taking a leap of faith. This could also be, and this was in reverse. I'm getting, and I don't normally do reversal. I feel this has to do with the choice, but the full energy is about leaving everything behind, taking what little one has, almost in minimalist mode here, and taking a leap of faith into something new, having some enlightenment, feeling whole and feeling balanced here. And this being in the career section, I am getting that possibly due to something that's taking place with a soulmate partnership there may be some kind of pause here where there's a particular part of a path that's taking place, but taking time for love here is what I'm getting. So just taking a little pause. This isn't anything, this is also new beginning here, new manifesting. So the beginning of a new cycle, what I'm getting now is that this just may not have started where there is this leap of faith that is being taken, where the plan and the works have already been made here. The movement overall is due to this reversal energy here and it just not taking place yet. So maybe having a specific date of a start or a known time around when things are going to begin shifting when it comes to your career but definitely getting a time and i'm hearing luther vandross gotta stop to love i love that song we'll put that in the description box some of you may like luther but that's sweet taking the time to embrace a beautiful connection here before beginning on and good travels coming through here too Seeing the city, seeing the cliff energy being beyond the city, and then also even, I'm getting like badlands. <laughs> this could be even like dumpster junk type energy, and I'm getting this as being left behind. That's what I'm getting there. Some of you may have a pet and may have a concern about taking your pet with you when you travel. Thriving in the sun energy. This is a lively energy that's full of happiness and joy. And so I would say there's a wonderful prospect here. There are great plans in the works here. Something exciting to look forward to. Just taking that time to have a little love, make a little love, give a little love. One of the things that comes to mind with that too it makes me think I used to um, I used to run track summer track I've run track ever since I was eight years old and so as I got older I had a boyfriend 
and and this was in high school but we would come together when I knew I had to like there would be state competition regional competition national competition each summer and it was just always a given that I went to nationals <laughs> um, and I'm not trying to brag I just thought I'd throw that out there so going to nationals because this is when that was taking place so going on a big trip and nationals was like a big trip where you like went further away than you normally would because it's outside of the region hence regionals so going on a trip we would just try to come together my boyfriend and i before i knew i had to embark on this adventure and doing what we can with the time that we had, making the best of our time, even if it meant meeting in the night, in the middle of the night. This is so pretty. This is a pretty love story and you have wonderful things that are happening for you here too. This is your energy here too, sun being your ruler. And so also what I'm getting is a lot of you just being very much into yourself and the love for yourself feeling free, having started something new when it comes to your career and doing some traveling. A new cycle. Okay, so let's see what we have for you. <laughs> and this was in reverse here too. So, we're gonna take that because I'm feeling this is going along with the story here, possibly maybe feeling in the past like you were left out in the cold. And going within to realize that you have this magical galactic connection. I am getting waves of you picking up on this where I would say with the past few readings that I've done, because you've had some pretty intense soulmate stuff come through and then also past life stuff as well. So with the first wave, I would say with a few readings ago, that just being, you know, a few, maybe sparking interest. And so some of you where your interest has been sparked, looking and doing some further research, doing some self work as well and really going within and connecting. And I feel with that for some of you, you have made a major discovery, possibly found a treasure that's always been there, that's been meant for you. And a soulmate connection having a lot to do with this. Having already made plans, maybe feeling a certain way in the physical, but tapping in and realizing that you have this connection here. And so just taking a little pause to love, but then also realizing that you're not left out in the cold. And that you are loved. More love than I feel that you even realized. Just getting a lot of... Um, shy feelings and there being some communication situations because we don't have a lot of that energy here we have pinnacles energy of uh, more grounding energy with that heavy weight of material and then the full card that pretty much being like a feather <laughs> very light so yeah I'm also noticing the weather. Snow versus the sun here. Specific time frames for certain things here. It may have been in the winter time that you felt this way of a five of pentacles. Possibly over Christmas. But everything that happened for you along the way was designed to help you to come into this greater clarity here, to be renewed and to come into a rebirth energy and start a new cycle so that you're no longer feeling this five of pentacles. And I do feel you've done that 
by making a choice here. And one of the more important things right now for you is the love connection, which is beautiful. We'll turn this up here too. Five is your energy, fifth house energy of Leo. Five is also representing change, but then also adventure. You getting ready to embark on an adventure here. There's plans that are coming through and there's some secrecy that's coming through as well. And I do feel it's a reversal. I feel it's a flip energy of a five of pentacles being left out, feeling left out in the cold because of lack of communication. Turning this energy, having a knowing by going within and making plans. I'm just hearing, and, and I'm getting that strongly here, especially with the pause energy that's here. Also too, um, with this connection, I feel it brings not just an abundance of love. It's very unique. It's very telepathic. And I do feel that there's a knowing now that even if you, given that there were feelings of being left out in the cold in the past, if there's any kind of inkling of feeling left out in the cold, it's automatic tap into the soulmate connection. And I feel that as it continues to gain more of a high frequency, the pinnacle energy of being grounded into the physical is coming through. And so that's where I'm getting this also yet to be together in the physical, seeing the hands coming together there. We working on it. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. Let's get to your clarifiers. And I shuffled this deck for you with your energy in it. Just wanted to show you what was on the bottom before I begin shuffling to get your clarifier for the lover's card. But feeling this wonderful energy here, and I do feel that this is something that you and your person are keeping amongst yourselves, learning from the past. Oh, and look at there. Oh my goodness, I did not do that on purpose. And I know y'all saw that. I went to grab and flip the deck. 1111 energy with the four of wands here. And look where that shot out at. And notice how this 10 of pentacles is leaning more towards the lover's energy. This is commitment and union. And I feel this is a part of that concealment energy. <laughs> Ten's breaking down to a one. Four is being about stability and taking the energy of nothing and turning it into something with a scarab beetle there. Blue and yellow. I'm getting Aquarius and Gemini. And we do have Gemini with the lover's card. So that could be significant. This is an energy of fire, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, and a Fucus. So your energy coming through, I don't feel, I'm not getting, no, I'm not going to say that. I'm just, yeah, I will say that. So I'm getting this as being more of an approach. I do feel that there's strong fire from within you, but I'm not getting this as being, like it's collaborative. But I'm getting this as being more of an initiative of fire when it comes to who it is that you're connecting to and the call to action being more on their end when it comes to this four of wands. This is a lot of happiness and coming together here. And commitment, union, partnership, physicality of the energy that's being held uh, hold here with the hands and then the ten of pentacles is that ultimate stability having a great amount of wealth and success being grounded being stable having the beautiful home having the beautiful family the wonderful social circle good abundance lots of fun adventure five and five energy is coming that makes that ten but I'm getting the first five being about that change and then the next five being about the adventure. And we do have 10 and 14, one and four makes another five, 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 five. Significant, compactful change is taking place here. That's where I was getting that strong pause here when it comes to your career and you not being left out in the cold because you have stacks here. Racks on racks on racks. <laughs> 
This is awesome. Let me go ahead. Since these came out this way, I'm going to leave this here and I won't look at the bottom again. We'll leave this here and then we'll get the actual clarifier from a shuffle here and see if we can get one more card for the lovers here. And this is twin flame energy here too. The flames coming through. That is an awareness I feel for the masculine energy about what a, tw a true twin flame is, is what I'm picking up. Doing some research, Gemini energy is about research, intellect, intelligence, doing study. So I'm getting there being some study and notice where, oh my gosh, notice where I put these cards. So I'm getting that the masculine is doing some intensive study when it comes to twin flames and soul connections. I am also getting there being a shift that's taking place and that being the reason for this angel having their heart over their hand. The angel is also blue. Blue is an energy for throat chakra communication as well. So possibly that angel bringing divine timing into a situation, into a connection with greater clarity. But then also throwing in the element of communication here to assist you and your person to come together. Moon energy is coming through as well, seeing the full moon at the top of the lover's card. But like I was saying, notice where I put the Ten of Pentacles aligning with the feminine and the Four of Wands aligning with the masculine. This Ten of Pentacles energy, I feel that this is the way that the masculine energy sees the feminine. More importantly, the feminine seeing herself as this Ten of Pentacles and having that knowing, being fruitful with those apples. And happy to share the fruits of their labor with their true love. Feeling beautiful and graceful and the masculine being open and surrendering to this whole situation. Both of you being very sexy, darlings. <laughs> very sexy, very confident, beautiful beings of nature, a beautiful, natural, loving connection between two. And I'm just hearing the angels say, oh, be still my heart. This is so beautiful. With the white hair, I'm also getting um, <laughs> Glenda the Good Witch from The Wizard of Oz. So that may be significant. So let's get one clarifying card from the shuffle here for the lovers. We got two. We're a partnership and that's how it's gonna be. And if it ain't one, it's gonna be two. That's what I'm hearing. It can't just be one. It's gotta be the both of us. Five of Cups energy is related to that Five of Pentacles. Nine of chalices, and these chalices are cups here. So it's just, I should say five of chalices and then nine of chalices. And this coming together. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is so special. This coming together makes another 14. So we have more five energy. Fives are coming through pretty significantly. The month of May could be significant, but we have a five. Nine and five making 14. That 14 energy coming through again. So you may be seeing 14, 14. Or five, 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 five. Definite change coming through. But the, the nine of chalices is about wish fulfillment. Five of chalices, that's a feeling of that lack energy that's coming from the Five of Pentacles. With this connected to wish fulfillment, I do feel it may just be this energy of yet to come together and having a missing energy when it comes to one's wish. You and another wishing for one another here, seeing the worth and the value of what it is that you bring to one another. And the physicality being gone here with these both being chalices here. So that being more of the emotion energy with the water, represented by Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and a Fucus. 
And what I'm also getting, seeing where these are pairing, I'm just gonna go ahead and align these here. But in doing this research, doing the research because one is missing a soulmate here, yearning and longing for a soulmate. So doing the inner work, also the outside work to make a greater discovery about soulmate partnerships and twin flames. And then this feminine energy, just as I said before about this masculine, seeing the feminine energy as this Ten of Pentacles also being their wish come true and through. That I energy, I of Horus also giving me that increase of doing the outside work, but then also the inside work to increase the heightening of the third eye to be able to see even more and to have greater awareness. Purity energy with the white. I'm also getting bird energy. Four of Cups is right underneath the eye, and that could be about that energy of taking a cup from divine. Having more than enough cups, but sipping from the overall divine cup. And this being that Ace of Cups, that Ace of Cup of Love there. I do feel this is the appearance with more opening of the third eye and doing that work. The appearance of this cup of love here seeing where that cup of love is coming from it being from the feminine energy as a wish come true and through nines are about completion we're gonna do this here and then also ninth house energy of sagittarius sagittarius being ruled by jupiter So a benefic planet, but then also providing great knowledge and wisdom. All right, so let's clarify. That's super special there. Let's clarify the full card in reverse. And this fell near the five of pentacles in reverse. We have the King of Chalices taking time to stop to love. Having great prospect ahead of you here. Having that Ace of Cup, it's right above the third eye, right above the eyes as well, and the crown chakra. But we have that energy here. Gaining that greater awareness and clarity and taking the time. Having wonderful plans here when it comes to work, career, but taking the time to stop to love. This is a very loving energy, one who is very lovable. It's a part of that concealment energy and the communications where the King of Chalices could have 10 oceans of emotion when it comes to another person. But being the king of chalices, able to hold this emotion inside. Not sure if that's a good or bad thing, but we all go through our own things and work through them the best way that we know how. But a very highly loving energy, also very handsome or beautiful energy here. This is not gender specific. I am getting this as being more of masculine energy. Also noticing how I place those cards and how those cards are kind of coming over the masculine energy. As if to say, seeing the fruitful energy from the feminine, I do feel that there's already accomplishment and establishment, that being here also too in the Ten of Pentacles. And so the movement beyond this, I feel is more pertaining to the masculine energy. Very accomplished energy here too as well. This is part of emperor energy, being very established, possibly having a few businesses and a humanitarian charity energy coming through. Having goodwill towards others and spreading that love and joy, being that love and joy, almost like being like Santa Claus all year round. <laughs> very jolly energy and a very giving energy 
having boundaries though, being in that king energy and, and using that emperor energy when it's necessary. Cups energy is more water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and Apicus. Very abundant here. I'm seeing corn energy, like just having a good amount. So I'm getting also to, there being good harvest with the amount of love and the seeds that have been planted. So seeing the fruits of their labor here, as I'm seeing atop the crown here, possibly being given gifts here from the feminine here. And that being a part of that Ten of Pentacles there too. And in exchange, seeing the cup here, there being an exchange of some sort, especially with the way that these cards wanted to come out together and in pairs. So the importance of equal give and take being here as well. I feel that's a part of the five energy of the change that's coming through, which is super pretty. Taking the time to stop when it comes to career to put that love into oneself but then also into a strong partnership here and let's celebrate so maybe there's celebration coming around here too with a coming together we are almost to the ten of cups here with that nine of cups but this definitely being um wish fulfillment we do have Scarab Beetle energy in both cards here, even this card. And I feel that the seeing that now, the alignment of the blue, the yellow energy for the masculine being more of a Jupiterian energy, but then also strong Gemini energy. That being the reason I could be getting more of a masculine energy with the Gemini lover's energy, that being Gemini card. And the amount of emotion that's felt for feminine energy with the blue symbolizing that same energy for the water when it comes to the feminine. Receiving this love, having this love from within oneself, but then also having this super connection here where I feel it continues to help the king of chalices here to fill one's cup up. And again, this could be you. You just take what resonates as masculine or feminine because this is an overall from within energy. But being one who's seen as a very loving, jolly person overall. Let's scoot this over because that Five of Pentacles, I feel that... That's almost like the actual Five of Pentacles energy, feeling left out, all this going on, and see how lonely this card is over here in comparison to these cards. But with the way that this is progressing, I feel that's a part of that awareness and this reversal for you here as this Five of Pentacles in reverse. Seeing the light, going within, doing that self-work to know that you're never alone and that you have this wonderful partnership here. So let's clarify the Five of Pentacles and we'll move that over just a little bit. And I just saw 3333. Three, three, three. It's a great master number. Clarify the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Clarify. There's the communication. Eight of Wands, these are arrows of love coming through. And the King of Chalice is looking right at this. So I do feel as I was picking up that this masculine energy is being more called to initiation and action. The Fool even being in reverse, in this being in the career section, I am getting um, that this is about forward movement here when it comes to masculine energy here. And I, what, I'm not sure if this was clear about what I was getting with the harvest above the head, but I do feel that this is about what one has received from feminine energy here, a part of what has been received to help the masculine to go out into the world, to do this wonderful energy here when it comes to career, to be able to supply 
this wonderful cup of love here. So pretty. So eight of wands, fire energy. This is your energy. Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, and a few kids. Seven of wands I'm seeing being crossed by an ace of wand. But then also there's that two energy again. And what I'm getting here, seeing the two, these, I'm seeing these as flowers here. One budding, all right, one already having budded and being blossom in bloom. This one having yet to come into bloom. Being connected to a seven of wands. So masculine energy, there was a seven of wands resistance to something being brought into fruition and into the physical possibly due to career energy here receiving internal message and internal internal knowing about a connection putting things on pause for a second realizing you're not out in the cold here taking the time to stop to love and nurture nurture with this communication realizing that you do have communication with another here there was some resistance on your end here with that seven of wands coming through but Wanting to do the healing, the healing I'm getting from this flower coming into bloom, that being the self-work, planting good seeds and nurturance, and in doing so, creating this Ace of Wands new beginning here that's bringing together all of these wands to create, create this Eight of Wands here of communication. Arrows of love between you and another person, you and your soulmate. And this could be to not just about the masculine and feminine energy from within you here, but also the partnership that you share in the strong soulmate connection where you both may have felt left out in the cold and realizing by going within that you have one another here and continuing to do so that this can actually be grounded into the physical here. Making plans, I'm hearing plans are being made if they haven't already. And this just being a progression of those plans coming through. Divine timing coming through pretty strongly here too. So I feel with the surrendering energy, it's about trusting and knowing that spirit has our back and what's meant for us is meant for us and will always come through and never be held back or delayed. This is a wonderful reading. Very cool, calm and relaxed here too. And it's full of love and abundance and communication being very key. Communication being key here. I feel that being a part of the lesson also between you and another person. All right, so let me get your final card here with the Moonology Moon Oracle cards for Leo Moons. Now, we just want one card. Well, that's a whole lot. <laughs> Good emotion, communication, lots of love expression here. Leo moons. Luck is on your side, new moon and Sagittarius. Sagittarius is the polarity energy of Gemini. And it could be that masculine energy sees feminine energy is very lucky. With the nine being representative of Sagittarius. And I feel you're very lucky here too if you're resonating as the masculine. We have nine energy here too, where I'm getting this being the alignment for the masculine energy. So both energy seeing what, oh, seeing the beauty of what you bring to one another and the blessing and this connection here. So let me grab the reading, the arrows, the communication, the arrows of love here. This is so pretty and this looks like a heart, that bow. Okay, let me pause the music here. 
luck is on your side. New moon in Sagittarius. Whatever is coming your way, it looks set to put a smile on your face. The new moon in Sagittarius can mark the restart of fun after a period of feeling low. The energy is adventurous and even willing to take a few risks. But be careful, you don't bet the farm on something here. And I feel that's a part of this energy here. As the Wheel of Fortune is still spinning. And the Wheel energy is also a 10 in the Major Arcana. So that applying here as well. This card is about exploring life metaphorically. By exchanging big ideas with others. Or just thinking about your own philosophies. Perhaps it's time to change your mind about something important. It can also signal that a trip away is coming up if that's something you're working to achieve. But the overall message of this card is that whatever happens next will be some sort of gift, even if that simply means widening your world view. Attune to the moon by counting your blessings, literally. Write them down or say them out loud. Additional meanings for this card, you need to laugh more. <laughs> this is a wonderful time to start a course of study or a teaching. Don't be narrow-minded. Start a week of gratitude practice. And this could be by journaling or blogging. The teaching. Sagittarius is a sign of fun, travel, exploration, and the great cosmic quest. It's the sign of big ideas. Its energy is expansive, upbeat, lucky, and divine. The new moon in Sagittarius exudes all this, as does this card whenever you draw it. Nothing is set in stone with Sagittarius in an optimistic energy. Could attract all manner of good things if you tap into the energy by expecting the best. And I'm going to leave it there. Let's see. We'll take a look. No, I'm not going to. I'm not gonna flip that. Actually, yeah, we're, we're gonna flip this. So we have seven of swords here. I feel this is about that making plan energy. Doing some work here, sneaky sneakies. I'm not getting anything negative from that. And then on the bottom here, we have work. Eight of pentacles, doing the work. Another eight, so you may be seeing 88. That may be significant for you. All right, so Leo moons, let's turn this back over here too. And I do feel this is, <laughs> this is about the communication between you and your person here. Being sneakies and enjoying it because it's between you. Just the two of us is what I'm hearing. We'll scoot this over so we don't block these. Leo moons, this was your reading. I hope that these messages were enjoyable, helpful, enlightening, and empowering for you. I thank you all for your continued love and support. Get them giggles on and have some fun. Enjoy yourselves. Welcome to all new subscribers. And until we meet again, I wish you all the very, very, very best. I love you. Take great care. Peace.